Now, April 24th is China's first National Aerospace Day. And the lead up to that, our reporter Ning Hong went to take a look at one of the country's major space projects its new generation of launch vehicles. China is producing a new generation of large launch vehicles. It's hoped that the Long March 5, which is under development, will support China's aerospace exploration for the next 20 to 30 years. And it will make its first official launch this year. This is the final testing line of China's largest rocket, the Long March 5. It is 5 meters in diameter and was designed for China's space station mission and also the future exploration to the moon and even to Mars. Five years ago, we started to make the new generation of rocket. The larger launch vehicle, the Long March 5, will make its first launch in September or October. If successful, it will be key to carrying our rockets of the future. The Long March 5 is a series of rockets that have two kinds of propellers and three modules. The process of design, construction and testing of the rocket, including the launch, if successful, will be a world-class breakthrough for China's launch vehicle technology. The Long March 5 has adopted a new design structure, material and propelling power. Its carrying capacity is two and a half times greater than our current launch vehicles. So far, China has developed 14 models of rockets. They are all in service now. It took less than 50 years. On April 24, 1970, China launched its first man-made satellite, the Dongfanghong-1. It was developed under extremely difficult conditions, but it was the devotion and the sacrifice of that generation of scientists that laid the robust foundation for China's space industry. This is the testing facility of China's solid rocket motors for China's first man-made satellite, the Dongfanghong-1. Numerous tests here, including those failed ones, have stripped the wall and melt the metal. This is a milestone of how China's aerospace industry was built from scratch. It requires key technologies to make a solid rocket engine. We make many breakthroughs then, for example, the shell material and a formula of propellant. There were many failed tests, big fires and explosions that exposed the steel bars. So we are so excited when it succeeds. Deep inside the Gobi Desert, the facility's evolution has been impressive. The most prominent example is the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Built in 1958, the center has grown from a missile range to a world-class launch center. This is where China's manned mission started. Ten spaceships was launched from here, and all of them are manned spaceships. Soon, Shenzhou 11 will launch from the launch pad behind me. This launch pad is specially designed and built for China's manned mission. For a long time, this area was most of most confidential areas in China. However, now it is more used for scientific exploration, for example, China's space station, and also the exploration to the moon and even to Mars. We have 11 scheduled launches this year, including two major projects, the Tiangong-2 and Shenzhou-11 manned spaceships. Among these 11 launches, there were three scientific research satellites, the Dark Matter Particle Explorer and Quantum Science Satellite are scheduled to launch in July. This year is the 60th anniversary of the establishment of China's aerospace industry. It is also a crucial year for the country's space missions. So far, China's lunar exploration are in their third phase and they will bring the rock samples back to Earth using the Chang'e 5 lunar probe. Meanwhile, China has also set a goal to launch its first Mars probe in 2020. Ning Hong, CCTV, Beijing.